Hey guys, I'm on my way. I just pulled out of my driveway. I'm headed to Wiggins, Mississippi. I'm going to go uh, by the my hotel to start with, and then I'm, uh, then I'm going to head up to their uh, Deep South Cutlery's shop. So I'm hoping that I can find a few pawn shops on the way, and maybe even an antique mall or something, which is that's going to be fun. I can't wait because I'm on these back roads and not taking no interstate. It's supposed to take me about seven hours. I'm just going to take my time. As long as I'm there by five o'clock their time this afternoon. Or, I'm sorry, five o'clock my time this afternoon or four o'clock their time. So, I should have plenty of time. It's, I left at nine a.m. my time, so it's eight o'clock there. So, it's going to be pretty close. Pretty close. I might be able to just stop at a, a pawn shop or two, but we'll see. I'm going to try to keep this left door closed and make some good time. So, I just want to say, guys, thank you all for tuning in today. And I hope you enjoy the video. Going into Alabama. We only got 339 more miles to go. Okay, guys, I'm in the middle of downtown Hertzboro, Alabama. And this store looks very interesting to me right here. We're just gonna go in there and see if they got any knives. Got anything, guys? No. Hey, but I just gonna check to see if you had any knives or anything, some pocket knives. No. Okay. I see some uh, something over here. That right there, that the, the, the leather. Uh huh. What do you want for it right there? I just have to look up, look up the number on it, see what it's what it says. All right. Please do. Look it up. Okay. Uh huh. Let me see it if you don't mind. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, it, it, it does have a price on it. It's like 649 649 mm -hmm. Alright, I'm going to take two of these. Okay, right? you, that's fine. You take cash? Yeah. Cash, card, <laughs> whatever you want to do. Okay. <laughs> Pretty cool one. I can use this as the, the lanyards, guys. That's why I like I bought that. That's pretty old, too. That's pretty cool. They had two more in there, but I've got so much at, at the house. I really don't need no more, but this is what I'm talking about, guys. These little towns like this. Look at that. Crow's Nest Antiques. That used to be an antique place right there. This is just an old, old town that's dying, you know. All these old buildings. It's pretty cool, ain't it? But that store just looked very uh, the interesting to me. At, uh, I love that sign right there, hardware. Mercantile dry goods. No notions and feet. It's pretty cool, ain't it? Yep. Awesome. Okay, guys. We're going to see what the back road is going to lead us to. I love the back roads. I really do. Love these old towns like this. For downtown Union Springs, Alabama. Check out this mural of Hank Williams Sr. Ain't that cool? I wonder what the historic 
thing is about this. I don't even know what this. Very cool. I'm gonna go over here to this uh, na the, the Napa, the auto parts. I'm gonna see if they got any knives in there. I think that's the only town or the only thing in town here. But check this out. Got a dog up top there. Ain't that cool? Pretty cool. Come with us, or they must have been safe. What do I bring it? They had some case knives in there. It was a pretty cool display case, but I'm looking for the old stuff. Looking for the old stuff. This is a pretty cool town. I don't know if they got any. There's some uh, little store out right here. Art gifts. We're going to check this one out. Some of these, most of these are private, or so a couple of them are public for hunting. Okay. So hunting is huge here. Okay, so that's that's the deal with the bird bird dog then. Yeah, it is. That's pretty cool. Well, I appreciate you and sharing this. And on top this. of that, take this with you. All right. Um, yes, ma'am. That is the state of Alabama's map. I mean, every county's in there. Uh huh. And this is for this year, so it's only got a few months left. But it tells you what's going on in every county. So if you're headed west, you can find something. Well, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> I, I appreciate your help. I really do. You've been so nice. Well, we love you. This is the old hotel building here. Okay. Built in 1880. 1880. You have to look up. It's a three-story old building. Do we need to find somebody's got $3 million to spare? We'll take it back up. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well, thank you so much, ma'am. You have a nice day. You too. Okay. Uh, his son actually has property south of here. Okay. And he used to sing here. Actually, that's up the street. That's a picture of one of the old buildings at the street. Okay. Where he came to sing. Okay. There's we'll murals the... all over town. Okay. And then the windows, that, the windows that are done are done by our art guild. And that's the local Well, they did a great job on that mural over there. Yeah. Well, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. How that, guys? Hank Williams Sr. used to sing here. That's pretty cool. I love this kind of stuff, y'all. Love it. Love the history. These old little small towns. You just never know what you find in little towns. I believe I'm at an antique place, not sure. Uh-oh. Hey, but is this the antique place? Uh, yes, sir, I believe so. I believe they're open right here. Okay. Got a bunch of stuff in there. All right. Oh, yeah. Hello. How you doing, ma'am? Y'all have any knives or anything? Some pocket knives? You ain't got none. Well, guys, I'm about eight and a half miles away from meeting Mr. Kevin Stubbs, Preacher, Seth, and Joe. And some more guys going to be there. Kevin Stubbs just called. He, he's fixed to start cooking the fried chicken. So I should be there right on time. Taking the back roads, guys. It's 
taking me a while. It sure has. Uh, there ain't nothing out here though. There ain't no pawn. I know I didn't see on pawn shops. I did stop at the antique store, but they didn't have no knives, so I didn't record it a little bit, but wasn't much to it. Um, but we, we're gonna see some knives tonight, though. We're, we're gonna see some knives. We're, we're gonna be on their uh, live auction. I'll film some knives from this shop. So, uh, but, uh, we're only a few minutes away from meeting the world right now. Mr. Kevin Stubbs and Mr. Preacher, Seth and Joe. So, can't wait to, to meet them. What's up, guys? I did not record when I first got there. I met everybody, but they did. They're going to be sharing that footage with me, and you'll be seeing that uh, very soon. They'll probably get it to me today or tomorrow. But I did show uh, some footage inside their shop. I looked at their knives, so um, I just didn't want to get out and just start the film. I, I wanted to really meet everyone, you know what I mean? And uh, But they took care of that. They they filmed uh, us meeting one another. It's, uh, it, they... They are just so nice. And you'll see that the food that, that we ate is uh, all awesome, awesome stuff. I didn't really show my plate or their food, but I did show Kevin Stubbs when he was cooking the pork chops and chicken and stuff. So, uh, but then we went in there and did the auction. Uh, you'll see, but I just wanna let you know, it jumps uh, from me going to there and talking to a subscriber that come down from Memphis. I'll be uh, letting you know his name here real soon. I'm, I'll see him again today. And another guy too, he gave me some stuff. I didn't record it, but they did. They recorded everything. But uh, just nice, nice folks. I cannot say enough how uh, they welcomed me in. And uh, it's just some great people here at Deep South Cutlery. Uh, and you're gonna see some of the most beautiful knives you've ever seen before. Pristine, old stock, new old stock. It's just amazing at the knives that I got to see uh, last night. So, but just stay tuned, you'll get to see them too. But they, they're just so genuine, nice people. Everyone, there's a bunch of people that came in last night. Uh, Kevin, he cooked uh, pork chops and chicken legs and uh, Mr. Preacher's wife made the most delicious uh, potato salad and uh, baked beans. They had some type of called apple crisp. It was so good. I mean, the food was just awesome. And uh, I I ate a little bit about one thirty, and uh, but that was well worth the wait. It really was. But again, guys, they're just so nice, so nice, great people. They really are. But anyway, guys, I just want to thank y'all uh, for watching, and I hope you uh, continue to enjoy the video. Me and my wife had to put this box back together because it, it was on a present. Okay. Uh, say she said she can leave mine on the porch, Lawrence. Brush the box. They pulled it out, put it up for sale, and eat. That's one about a bone right there, ain't it? Yeah. Look. Oh, my God. Never been used. Way is going to have a fit. You want to trade something for that? Oh, my God. What you, what do you, you, you want? What are you looking for? I like granddads, and I, I, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on this Remington kick. A Remington, like the old, old, well, like I UMC. Got where I just got pays from him. Oh, you talking about one of them green, green ones? Yeah. Well, I'm tell you what, now that's a special knife. Now <coughs> these are special. They really are. Yeah. <laughs> Remington, this is the old boy here. Now. Yeah, you ought to see it before I cleaned it up. It was pathetic. And I work my brains out. I love and that. Not, I, hey, that's the strongest. Is it not strong? Yeah. That's a, yeah, mm -hmm. It is. Look at that old craft. Yeah. That's nice, man. Yeah. That's pretty good. It like is. It, yeah. like, now, Kevin Stubb can cook. I done found out. You got to go in that group, baby. I done found out. He can huh? cook. I tell you, that chicken was good. 
But them pork chops are off the chain. That's all right. We're coming to Ellisville. Yeah. I can't wait for y'all to come to Ellisville. We're coming to Ellisville with it. Yes, sir. Huh? Can't wait for y'all to come. What we going to do, Doc? We're going we, we, we gonna to show some knives. What, what we're going to do. We're going to do out there show some knives out there. Huh? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Preacher. I done shook the tree today. You and Seth made me shake the tree today. I done shook the tree today. You done shook it. Huh? Yeah. Okay. I need a grant. I need a grant. <laughs> I need a grant. Yeah. Everybody got a grant. I need a grant. Seth, I thought you already had the stuff up here, man. I don't want to hear it. I got to hey, 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 DK, where you at, man? How far you? How, how, where you at, DK? He said he was a hundred and something miles. That don't bring that old smoke bologna stuff. DK, we're going to feed Kevin some smoke bologna. Don't bring that old smoke bologna. We eat fried bologna down here. We're going to eat some smoke bologna. We eat fried bologna down here. We eat some smoke bologna. We eat fried. You finna eat some That's why I cut mine and put them switches in it. Yeah. Yeah. You finna eat some fried, though. But listen. Oh, yeah, we got some video moments when Doc met everybody. I guarantee you we have. Coming at you from Kentucky. I hear you, Tony. Uh oh, I got something for Doc right here. What you got? Self ain't gonna play the stuff. You feel the same, baby girl? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's a world no place for me. And I'll leave this life behind me, troubling cares, man, gonna find me. I'm gonna be a man. Put it in the case, man. Old do. case right there. Tommy Red bone. Tommy Payne, mm. $55. Tommy, I'll do $65 on it, sir. Check them out. $65. Next year, right it's going to be $65. Tommy, if you want it, be $65, sir. Let man. me know. Let me know. $65. Hey, 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 <laughs> they got it here at Deep South, son. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm talking about some amazing, amazing now. Look at the buffalo. Man. Yeah. Uh, I got one more, folks. If anybody wants Look at to that Tommy, Tommy took that one for 65. Look. I don't know who the back up there. Look at that. First take I see on that one there. You can get that one. That's the last one. Look at that. Mm -hmm. How about that USA and X is under? Look at that one right there, that jack now. Man, so we got two new display cases in here. Check all these out. Check that out right there. They, they got a live auction going on right in there. Tell you guys, they have fed me. They have treated me so nice. Look at that whaler right there. Look at all that. Mm. Ain't it beautiful? Look at the GECs right here. 44 with Frank Northcutt. Dustin, you behind. Lag Andrew. 44. Lag Greg Wells. 44 with Frank. Mm. And it just keeps going, guys. Look at the, the more knives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Look at them beautiful, beautiful things. 1979 right there. I'm not a big of fan of them putting that up. A lot of a lot of companies do that. They put the sharpness stone on the side. I really don't like that. It's to sharpen your hook right there. I guess it's convenient, but a lot of them fall out. Check these out. Look at the whalers. $175. $150. Ain't it beautiful? Look at that. Case W. Whaler has $200. Wow. Look at that. Ooh, oh, man. Look at that. Oh, ain't that beautiful? $300. <laughs> 
Wow, check out here. It just keeps going. I'm just sharing some of this beauty right here. Now, now, is this is this a whaler? Yes, sir. Okay, I, I just saw that. That yeah. one's a little bit bigger. Let's see. They call these. I, I just didn't know. I always call those a whaler, but. I'm mistaken. Sure. You know they do have different. This is a 99. Uh huh. And that's a 31. They're both a little jackknife pattern. Uh huh. With but the I've, always called, I've always called both of them whalers. Me too. Me too. But I just didn't know because that one's actually, actually got, got whaler on the side. On but that one don't, and it's a little bit bigger than You know, than it's those. crazy. This is a 99. I've never noticed this. This is a 99, like a 99 pattern jack, but, you know, the 99 and a half jack, uh -huh. which I don't have one. Let's see. There's one right here behind me. What's up, Heath? Oh, no. That's Mr. Heath Warren. Thank He's the one that makes the beautiful ambles. Thank you, he, And he'll be there in Ellaville at the uh, at, at the knife show. Yep. Yeah. I didn't realize this. This is a 99. That's a 99 and a half. Really? Do you know that? Wow. I didn't know. Beautiful. I didn't look at it. Now, why do they call it a half? Where did the half come in? I have no idea. Uh, that right there is a way question. There's a lot of questions that we don't Yeah. Now, what are these things here? Those, uh, those are the all 28 of the presidential series knives. Oh, look at there, y'all. Yeah. It's all 28 they ever made. Wow. We think it's a bad deal on, on the whole set. We don't really want to break them up. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I, well, I wouldn't break them up. But look at this bone. I love am, ain't that's, that amber that's, bone. That's stag. Sta oh, that's stag. That's stag. It is stag. I see it now. My bad, buddy. Oh, you all right? Now, what is that right there? That is called pretty bone. Man, that is pretty. Cream in that, yeah, <laughs> the cream in that. This is all. They call this all pretty. What we always call pretty bone mm -hmm. because it's got that. It's got old stag there. Yeah, that's green beautiful. in it. Now, what year model is that? That's a USA sixty-five. Uh, sixty. Five uh, to six nine. Yeah, wow. Look, I mean, never used. And where'd y'all pick up this collection? We got at? this out of a collection about forty miles east of us here. Really? Missy, Mr. Tony Foster helped put this collection together. If anybody uh -huh. knows about Case, Tony Foster's like the god. Well, they call him the Godfather of Case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he helped put this together for one of his buddies. He passed away. It come come to his son, and you know he didn't have the passion for it, so it just become. It's a chunk of money, but uh, yeah, we were blessed to get our hands on it. Is that that the famous dun dungeon? That's the dungeon. Yeah, uh, Big Jim has done raided. Uh, Big Jim has raided us. That's that's the, the dungeon. What's that right there? That's a uh, that's a knife. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it looks like a, a shray. It does. We have a lot of guys who just come and like dump knives it in is there. A yeah, that's got a broke tip. That, yep. that thing needs to be saved. Watch Stick how we put this. Stick it in your pocket, Doc. You don't want it? No. Stick it in your pocket. I'll, I'll save it Stick next it week. <laughs> Stick it in your pocket. I'll, I'll be glad Tag to us on it whenever you do it. I sure will. You yeah, probably ain't the last one. That right there right looks like a Gerber. Is it a Gerber? Or a, no, a Kershaw. A Kershaw, but it yeah. ain't. It's a, it's a China something. It is, ain't it? It's a well-made China. It, it feels just like the uh, leak. Yeah, that's right. The leak. You're exactly right. Just like the leak, let me catch up on them real quick, y'all. Yeah, man. The dungeon. I love dungeons. <laughs> Over here. Display cases. Display cases. This is beautiful, guy. Beautiful. That's, this is Kevin Stubbs. Didn't know it, but he ran for sheriff here a while back. When did he run for sheriff? Uh, 23. 23. Yep. Well, it's got the date on it right there. Yep, 23. He, uh, he, he, he actually come in second. Do you not really? Yes, sir. Is there only two people running? No. Uh, yeah, <laughs> at the end, yeah. <laughs> Play it. Uh, you know what I found today, believe it or not? is a Sportsman Series 2018. Really? Quail. Had a quail on it wow. with a um, um, shotgun or shotgun shell shield. You like that? Yep, yep. Like Just like, uh huh. That's, I've never seen the quail. I've got the bear. Yes, yeah, so a 2018. Daddy started, Daddy started I started to buy it, but it wasn't 69 bucks. I should have bought it. I know. 85 bucks. Did you I look at that old set, the low set in there? At what the yeah. prices and stuff was? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, where, what, what year was that? Those are 99s, 2000s. Okay, so wow. 20, 25 years ago. They're immaculate. They're never been used. But what's crazy is they're a third of what the brand new now mm -hmm. And probably a third better. Now, where did y'all pick them up at? Uh, a friend of ours in Kentucky had a whole collection. That, those actually come in the... the uh, the, the presidential and all the state quarters. those are pretty oh, sweet oh look at there you remember when i did all the states yeah each state started at 99 i was in y'all gonna keep that as a set too we'd love to those are those quarters are 24 gold carat plated oh look at so, that so uh, the quarters are going for like eight dollars a piece on wow. the quarters themselves then you just, if you say a 70 dollar knife yeah hold on i'm coming 
Yes, sir. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, y'all. Ain't this something? Knives everywhere you look. I could just be in here all day long. Look at that. Ooh, look at that right there. Check that out. I excel. Let's check this one out, y'all. Rough rider. Look how big I am, I know. Shut it in right there. How are the springs on this thing? Oh, I don't want to get my finger on it. I can get it, though. That's pretty cool, man. Let's go see what it does. I'm going to put it on the block. All right. Get in there. Get in there. It's got 100 people, man. Got big bottle scouts away. Right now. All right, we're going to roll a little bit and try to make it. 70 speak softly and carry a big stick. Got a big stick the, on the, the Teddy Roosevelt it edition Rough Rider. Large Trapper right there. Uh, uh, large uh, Trapper. Uh, uh, large uh, trapper. Uh, there it is, guys. Good water strip. Oh, shit. Hey, it's got the box right there. Got the box with it right there and everything. That says carry the big stick. Anybody wants a trapper to tuck in your pocket, put it there. Put it there in your pocket and walk around with it. In your pocket and it was trip wire. Guarantee you'll cut <laughs> something. <laughs> Everything. In the box. In the box. In the original box. 2017. Never used carry the sharpener. There it is, guys. You know what a travel lock's got to do. Set it in. Let's roll with it. There it is. Set it in. Let's go with it. Oh, yeah. 45 Justin Wood. We'll start it there. We just came in there. We're $100 dollars Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Get on with the shit. Who, no. who, hey. Little antique queen. No, she ain't with him. She no, ain't with him. The ball lady. Is it yes. No, it's not Carmen. What, what year is that? Ooh. It's got the old box. Yeah, I'm not good with these. That's going to be a, an 81. Mm -hmm. 81. Okay. That's stag, too. Yes, they're stag. They call it in the package. Now, how, now how much are these? That one, we got it on the shop here for 400. Yeah. We got a little bit of wiggle room. But Say, give me the bearing sign. Uh, they go right there. 350 probably. Wow. And there are two of them just alike. Oh, yeah. I don't know if they're the same. That looks brand new. Yeah, never been, none, none of these have ever been done. They look just in wood. No, they are a little bit. Oh, pretty Not the same thing. $100 with Vincent. There it is. Well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video today. I just had a blast with the Deep South Cutlery last night, meeting all those guys. And, and again, guys, the footage of me meeting them will be out soon. Uh, it might be the next few days. It might even be in uh, tomorrow's video. I don't know. It's just when, whenever he can give me the footage that they film. So it's, uh, it's going to take some time. But I'm going to be busy going around at the different vendors today and looking at knives. I cannot wait. And... Uh, I just cannot wait uh, to see if a particular knife is there. Mr. Preacher sent it to me uh, when they had their trade days in the spring, and it was a beautiful knife. If it's there today, I might buy it. I don't know yet. Uh, but if it ain't there, I'll share with you what it was because I think I still have the pictures that Mr. Uh, Preacher sent me. So uh, I'll be sharing that with you tomorrow in tomorrow's video. Uh, but anyway, guys, I'm fixing to go down there and get some uh, good old uh, Continental breakfast. But the Hampton Inn, I'm, I'm staying at Hampton Inn and Sweets. They do have a, uh, a hot breakfast, and it's a Continental breakfast. And uh, they got good rates here. It's only uh, $125 a night. I'm staying here for three nights, but I got a suite and a bedroom. It's very nice. Uh, but I always try to stay at the, the Hampton Inns or uh, or the Hilton side guys very good hotel chain that's what I used to pick uh, when I worked for the National Park Service traveling I, I used to be on uh, uh, FMSS the facility management software system support specialist then I, then I become a facility manager or maintenance chief so to speak where I wrote projects I handled projects I managed projects I looked after the assets of the park meaning the buildings the landscapes um, bridges trails anything like that i'd have to write a project for it but anyway guys i used to be on a team uh with the fmss side before i become facility manager we used to go to these parks that had natural disasters like a hurricane a uh, flood or anything a fire or anything like that we would go and assess the damage create work orders put costs to them then put them in projects and then after we leave the park would know how much it, they would need to uh to ask for to uh, rebuild what was damaged or to repair what was, was damaged. So uh, 
Great job. I loved it. I got to visit a bunch of national parks or national historical sites around the southeast. And I uh, love it. I really do. It was a great job. Anyway, guys, I just want to thank y'all for tuning in today. I just can't wait to get out there and look, for, look at some knives. And uh, again, that footage will be out tomorrow. So I can't wait uh, to get that video together and to show y'all. I can't wait to see what's out there today. But uh, anyway, guys, again, thank y'all so much for tuning in. I want to say God bless y'all. Until we meet again, guys, y'all be like a good night. Stay sharp. After towns, the whispers start, hey. Flea market's calling a treasure hunt today, hey. With Auntie Queen by his side. They search, they barter, take the ride. His lady and the deals they take. Down the lane where Russ meets fate, he sees a spark in the forgotten. Ain't too late. A diamond in the rough, they say, till the night doctor puffs the years away. Through the aisles and past the stands His keen eye sweeps over the merchant's lands Picks up a bladed story untold Edges dull but the handle's gold He sweats his eyes, he's past the grind Each knife he saves like stopping time In every town a tale of Jim, the hunt is on, no need to pretend. Y'all got any knives or anything? Some pocket knives?